I'm Sue Turns and these are the headlines on Al Jazeera. The youngest prisoner held in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba has been flown to Canada to complete his sentence. Omar Khadr murdered a US soldier in Afghanistan when he was 15 years old. As part of a plea bargain, he'll serve the rest of his eight-year sentence on home soil. In Somalia, Al-Shabaab commanders are vowing to fight on despite being forced out of their last remaining stronghold. Kenyan and Somali soldiers, backed by airstrikes, took part in the port city of Kismayo. The group linked to Al-Qaeda says it pulled out to prevent civilian casualties. In Spain, riot police have confronted protesters who surrounded Parliament. It was the third demonstration in five days against another round of massive budget cuts. As Tim Friend reports from Madrid, many Spaniards can't understand why banks are getting bailouts while they're being told to tighten their belts. The government says it's trying to achieve economic stability and it might have to apply for a full European bailout like Greece. Protestants have been parading in Belfast. They've been celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Ulster Covenant. That's the agreement which helped form Northern Ireland. Despite fears of trouble with Catholic rivals, the parades passed off peacefully. You can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.